Still Crazy After All These Beers is brought to you by our friends at Michelob, crafting a better beer. And Porta Pong, the world's number one best selling inflatable beer pong table at portapong.com. Welcome to this week's edition of Still Crazy After All These Beers, Minx Premium Infused Vodka Cocktail. And I'm joined by. Francisco Palacios. Oh, what a name that is. Thank you. I love that name. If I could, if I could say it, you know what? You'd have to buy me another drink, I think. And, of course, our good friend Tamara. How are you, sweetie? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm always good. You know that. I'll tell you what, with the New York Bar Show, what is this Minx all about, man? Well, Minx is, a, is the first vodka-infused cocktail ready to drink. So it's infused with four really uh, fun herbs. And it's just, a, it's just a fun time. You have a Minx a day, it'll keep the uh, sex therapist away. Let's say that. <laughs> For me, it may take more more than one Minx a day. Hold that bottle up. Let's get a shot of that in the camera right there. Boy, oh boy, I like that. Tamara, did you get to try some of that? I will be in a couple minutes. It will be as soon as I shut my mouth, in other words. <laughs> exactly. How did this all come about? Well, you know, a few years ago, a friend of mine came to me with a, uh, a, a, a cocktail that he was importing into the States, and he wanted me to get involved with him using my network to distribute, okay. and it kind of didn't make sense for us, but uh, I, I, I brought it to a business partner of mine, and we said, you know what, we need to take this and kind of like develop it into something else, and that's how Minx came about. It was born at that, that little meeting where we uh, came up with the idea of fusing a couple of different elements that make it uh, a pretty, uh, you know, interesting drink. Very tasty, too. Well, I'll tell you, you know, people came to me and said, you got to try this drink. And so I did, as you know, just a few minutes ago. It's a home run. You knocked one out of the park. It's very, very flavorful. Well, thank you very much. We think that we have. We've been to a couple of shows already. And the taste test and the market research that we did, everybody just loves the flavor. They just, they, they, they just love it. So we're, we're excited about it. We're, we feel that uh, with the interest that we have, not only here in the States, but around the world, we have, we have people right now that we're in uh, negotiations with that are interested in um, getting the rights for Asia. I'm talking about people who have the ability to produce overseas. So we're very excited about that. Domestically, we just know that we're the first in this class of drink, the first ready-to-drink infused co uh, vodka cocktail. So we're very, very excited about it. And, uh, you know, the, the response has been great. So, you know, we're just pumped up about it. And that's it. You know, you use shows like the New York Bar Show to get feedback from, you know, from the customers who come up as to how they like it. So you're getting a lot of positive feedback? The feedback has been amazing here as well as in the, at the show, uh, uh, the previous show that we did. Everybody loves it. They love the flavor. They love the packaging. You know, a big part of uh, any product is the packaging. Absolutely. And we, we've been told that we've knocked it out of the park with the packaging. Everything we did, we, we, we wanted it to be an ultra premium beverage from start to finish and if you take a look at our packaging from the bottle we're the only beverage of its kind in an aluminum bottle uh, the the logo everything is youthful our demographic we're going after the 21 to 35 year old demographic people who drink these types of drinks and they've been coming through here today and they're just loving it so we're loving that they're loving it well uh, Tamara let me ask you now he, uh, we're talking the 20 21 to 35 year old graphic but it's not me so do I do you think I have to put this glass down Absolutely not. Oh, oh, oh. Why can't you fit into this? Uh, well, I, I could at one time. I could at one time. But no, anyway, let me get some feedback from you. I know this is new to you also. I want you to try a little sip. Tell me what you think. This is good. Is it really good? Very smooth. Uh -huh. um, it's sweet. It's not overpowering. I'm kind of worried, though. <laughs> if you drink too much, you might be like, whoa. <laughs> if, if you're worried, I would say have more. That's right. The show, you'll definitely have that happen because. Beautiful bottle, though. I will say that. Yes, I do. Thank you. It's you know, you brought up a you brought up a valid point too. Packaging is so darn important. Right. That's going to initially catch the customer's eye if you're dealing with a brand new product. Absolutely. And we went for a youthful demographic. You can see the tattoo art that's included. So we went with the tattoo. There you go. <laughs> see, we know that the demographic we're going for appreciates fine tattoos and. Absolutely. You know, and it, it, it's, it's a, the fun generation, right? So it's all about having fun. Mix is about having fun. And we just want to be part of your evening, part of your weekend when you're out there having a good time. You know, and, and it's okay to be a little flirty, right? Uh, and that's what a mix is. is a beautiful, flirtatious young woman. And that's why we, we, we all love a beautiful, flirtatious woman. So we had to name the product Minx. We I did love a lot of market research for that, by the way. 
But you know what? You have to. Honestly, you do. You've really got to research everything before you come out with that final product. In terms of the packaging, also the name. If something goes wrong, it doesn't work. That's right. And, and you know, with... Uh, with this type of product, I think in marketing in general, you only get one shot out of the box. Yeah. So we had to do it the right way. And uh, the other great thing is that we've got a tremendous amount of interest, distributor interest from around the country. Distributors uh, here, in, here in New York, in Florida, California, uh, a, a lot of different types of clubs that are interested in bringing us in. So we feel that we have a, a bright future and we just have some work ahead of us and it's going to be a lot of fun though. So that's it. Another New York Bar Show wrapped up for 2009. We had a great time as we do every year. We're probably going to be back here in New York in 2010 for the Bar Show. Got to try some great beers and meet some cool people. You know, it's not just about beer. It's about lifestyle, and that's what it's all about. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe. We will see you next time on Still Crazy after all these beers.